What's up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this Instagram feed section you can see right here. I implemented it into one of my clients stores. They own an African basket store and I think it's a really nice roundup and as you can see you can basically implement it everywhere and it's fully customizable and I'm going to show you how you can do this for your own store. First thing I did was actually head on over to the Shopify app store and got the Section Store app. It's a Shopify app which contains over 150 fully customizable components and also this one. The app itself is completely free and it's your lucky day because this section also is completely free. We do offer a couple of premium sections as well which do come with a one-time charge but you don't have to worry about this one. So yeah, after successfully downloading the section right here underneath explore sections you can head back to the home area of the app and before you can actually use it you have to do one last thing which i'm going to show you now you have to add it to the theme you're actually using in my case it's the dawn light theme i've already done so and i'm going to head on over to the shopify theme editor just open this up and you can see already that's the one you can see in the beginning of the video I'm just going to show you how you could edit completely from scratch again. So you just type in SS Insta feed. That is the one. Let's have a look at that. And as you can see here, you get a really nice default version already with a couple of example pictures. So we're just going to give this a little save. Always save the sections up when you added it in the first place. And as you can see here, you could technically add a picture right here. And I'm just going to give you a little example just going to do one of our baskets so it's going to appear right there and we could also directly either link it to a product or the Instagram that is what I did on the other one and I'm going to show you how you can customize the whole block itself so I'm just going to get rid of that because the same concept applies to all of the blocks so we're going to click on insta feed and here you can see a lot of things which are customizable i'm just going to give you a brief overview of what you can do so you could change this right here just easily change that to instagram or even better our instagram i think that looks quite nice already all the fonts here you can set to a custom font but i just used the one i already did with the custom one of my theme settings and the font sizes are changeable the line height so just a little one right here so yeah you could make this bigger smaller whatever you like actually you can change all the alignings of the text right here and same goes with the headings this little thing right here and also that and here you can also link the instagram of the page it's going to be an external link so a new page will open up and that is so much to that you can also decide how much slides you want to see per row if it's going to be four or five or six depending on how many pictures you actually put in there and in the other case it's just going to wrap around so i set it on four so if i would add another picture you would just get another one down here the autoplay speed is the same so you could also use it as a slider so the images just slide through there so if i put it on three actually i'm just going to show you this for the sake of this tutorial it would go all the way through so yeah that's that much to that let's save it up real quick and have a look at it then we should be able to see it yeah there you can see it and now it's only three pictures and the auto slide is activated i think that looks quite nice as well and keeps some attention to the picture itself and as you can see here that's all the colors you can technically change so i'm just going to give you a really quick example of the top text color right here so we could technically change it to red which won't look nice of course but i just wanted to show you that that is also customizable and then the last thing you can change is like a bunch of random paddings right here. So how much space there is between. But that was pretty much it. I'd say we just save it all up, which is already done. Give that a little reload and check if the autoplay is actually working. So yeah, that is looking nice. I'm happy with that. And I hope you guys are as well. If there are any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. And if you have any ideas on sections we could technically do, always feel free as well to put that in the comments. And with that being said, guys, have a good one and peace out.